Hold on. I want to make sure it sees my face very well. But there's a couple of things I want to say in this update video. It's I'm not going to add a fancy title to it because I usually don't for these kind of videos. The starters, I want to say rest in peace to my great grandmother. Monica, that's her first name. I think it's her first name. Uh, she died earlier in 1 a 107 a.m. today, Friday, at January 31st, 2014. <laughs> For starters, we have the same birthday, so I know for a fact that she she was late in 85. But I owe a lot to her. For starters, she saved my ass plenty of times when I was four years old, and I was doing swanton bombs off the coffee table, sofa, strangling myself with the curtains, cutting myself open with the shaving razors. Uh, she's done her very best to take care of me in my most reckless of years. Four years old. Also, in my elementary school days, I do remember spending a lot of time in her place. I remember watching television there, I remember interacting with her. We always had a language barrier and that barrier became more and more problematic over the years. The more complicated I became, the more frustrating the whole situation became. Uh, I mean, we would watch a lot of television, I remember watching a lot of Cartoon Network, the Food Network. Her comments were always funny. The stuff that I could understand and comprehend that she was saying. Well, like, even last year, she always she was always a funny person. And it's no wonder that her death wasn't peaceful at all. It wasn't a peaceful death. She was suffering till the very end. Because that's just who she is. It takes a lot out of her. I guess Taurus and Tauri are stubborn people, but I don't want to look at it in an astrological sense. I want to say that she was always like that. As long as I knew her. And she she wasn't going out for how to fight, there was just stuff for blood cells, she was also crapping in her pants. I don't know what killed her. But, the one thing I regret is that, they, besides the fact that she never got to hear me play guitar, one thing that does annoy me was that uh, they were going to take her to a facility to take care of her in the Bronx, as opposed to bringing her back to her home. So, yesterday was her first day there, and... It wasn't for too long, not even a full 24 hour period before she croaked. I've probably been better in her place, but eh. I found out about it in 6 a.m. So there was a five hour difference. Her mom came to me, I did some wisecracks, and then she told me the news. When she drew it out dramatically, you know how she is, I knew what I was going to hear and it is a little frustrating she probably shouldn't have croaked in that shithole of the Bronx but at least it was a nice facility there were a lot of professionals with her and I gotta see her Wednesday this Wednesday right before me and mom went to a Thai food restaurant in Inwood you can probably see it on Facebook. She's always tagging in bullshit. You know, those coddling parents. 
there was a lot of that coddling shit, so she was tag tagging me everywhere we go and stuff like that. Point being, I did get to see her. I wasn't too happy with what I saw, but that's that. The last time I did an update about her, she was in the hospital for different reasons. She came back home, and then she went to the hospital again. This was a three-in-a-row, four-in-a-row scenario, and for all the situations, I got to see one of my cousins. He's a guy I used to love hanging out with, Christian. He was tagging her on little Instagram posts, you know, holding her wrinkled liver, spot having saggy veiny, nasty sandpaper flesh, holding a hand, and it looked touching. But me and my mom always made a joke that. Yo, man, that guy's, he's gonna get that trust fund money. Yeah, man, get that. But, I think after a while, when she got emotional, my mom started taking what I said seriously, but she knew it was just a joke, and to, like, get it off her head, she's just not in a stable place. Our intuition oftentimes gets the better of us, Especially for women that are moms and they think they have a magical sixth sense. Not that I'm discrediting that statement, but whatever. Uh, to talk about stuff, not only did I finish Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, but I also... I'm halfway through Chain of Memories. And I saw the whole 300 and... 58 slash 2 days thing. I think I already said that before, but this update I'm just saying, I'm at the point right before you fight Vexen for the first time and you have to go to Twilight Town. What I want to do is, I want to get one of those, I like the, the orange card for the Radiant Garden slash Hollow Bastion World. I want to get that secret door, that secret treasure. Because I bought him a couple of times just to try it out, a lot of the save file, I was about to go to sleep that time, and the guy whooped my ass, it wasn't even funny, there was no contest, I don't think I was able to get three hits on him, I was definitely not able to get four on him, so, that was not graceful, it was an indication of how things are for me, I want to get back into let's playing because These camera rambles, they seem way too below me. I don't like being on my bed when I make videos, and that's how things were for since at least October. I'm going to make a video, and I'm going to make one on this bed since as soon as I pull out that recharger, since this is like a desktop now, uh, this shit's going straight to hibernation. And I want to do Let's Plays so badly. That was originally what I wanted to revamp this channel to be since 2010. But, you need. I have all the games I want to play, essentially. I have Chrono Trigger, Cave Story, one of the Pokemon games, a couple of the Final Fantasy games, and Earthbound, Dragon Warrior, YS. Is there anything else that would be necessary? I want to stick to RPGs since I don't really want to do anything else. RPGs are my thing, and most importantly, I really can't imagine playing a side scroller like Mega Man X2 on this thing. It's incredible what has changed and what hasn't changed. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not out of inspiration for my wonkatastic rants. Those will certainly be prevalent in the future. I wanted to do a video on Obama's State of the Union address, and my mom really wanted me to see that. I wanted to do a video, but thought, no, nah, that would be boring. So I thought, 
maybe if I went to my gothic style, it's more reflective of my writing posts on our waking then it would be there would be much more interesting. So I did a challenge. I was going to fap through a whole giant section of pictures and they said if I jizzed I have to do this writing thing and of course I jizzed before I could finish it and no there's not a lot of inspiration so I'm just going to talk about it now well I know what I had to say about Obama's State of Union address speech for the year of 2014 it's boring as shit it was boring, it was uninformative, uh, I enjoyed the fact that he was basically taking a lot of the critiques he got in 2013 for the surveillance stuff and saying, okay, we're not going to spy on everyone, let's put this all in the GOP, in the corporation, we're supposed to be spying on the people that need to be spied on, not just everybody, which... I'm curious as to what he means regarding that, but probably the right wing terrorists and a couple of guys that might be connected to Al Qaeda. You never know. They're always concerned with the guys like me, right? The guys that are complaining about feminism and the fact that we're because of the Jews were pushing for more minority rights than stuff that's going to be in our interests. And of course, a lot of bad consequences were happening because of that. And if you're of a lower IQ Cro-Mag position, then you're going to want to advocate for violence via the internet and they're going to track it and then they're going to get you in trouble. <sighs> Spoke a lot about economic stuff. The One of the big focuses he was going to mention was the minimum wage, how it should be raised, and the fact that it's going to get a $10 raise, not a $15 raise, like most people wanted, but not a lot of that was mentioned. Honestly, not a lot of what he said had substance to it, but he never really was substantial. I've said it before during the 2012 debates, yet those were debates you'd think they'd have more substance to them many years ago, but many calendars ago. But no, not even that. Anyways, this is Mr. Ronka7. Like I said, I'm not going to put a special title on this video. I was pissed at the last time I... Well, I wasn't really pissed, but... It says a lot that the last time I made a video like this, some motherfucker disliked it. Because... Of... What was mentioned. But this is the internet, and I expected nothing less. And y'all can suck my dick and go to hell. Thank you.